Tiger Woods here. What do you think he should say and do in public? We want to put that question to sports business analyst Rick Haro. Of, he's the president of Haro Sports Ventures and joins us now by phone. Rick, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Let me ask, if you could sit down with Tiger Woods right now, how would you advise him to proceed? Well, first of all, make sure you practice your putting on carpet because you're not going out of the house until the next golf tournament you play, I'm afraid. Mm. Yeah, but in all seriousness, this is a perfect storm configuration with the most recognizable guy on this planet with the Internet age, which makes information accurate or not worldwide in a microsecond. So be careful, be straight, rehearse it, say it once and hopefully get beyond it because this will never die. Well, and because it will never die, we know Oprah Winfrey's extended her arm to him for an interview, reportedly. Is that a good idea to go, to go that route? Well, he needs to go one route. You know, maybe it's the 60 Minutes route. Maybe it's the Oprah route. But the one thing he can't do is assume that he can sit back and let this die because now we have the combination of accurate and inaccurate information. Mm -hmm. And we have our first set of sponsors like Gatorade saying, and not so fast. Now, Nike has 800 million annual reasons why they stick with them. Why? Because that's the amount of money they make every year off the Tiger Woods golf brand. But other companies, not so fast. Well, and that brings up my next question. Are his endorsement deals in jeopardy? Well, you know, the Nike the Gatorade one, some say it was caused by this, but the Gatorade brand is still sticking with Tiger, a particular kind of Tiger drink they had already taken off the market in November, so you can't blame mm -hmm. that on this. But the EA Sports, Accenture, Gillette, Upper Deck, uh, you know, those are some of those companies have rough edges about them. But let's remember that Tiger's image is based on truthfulness and character. And that's really taken a shot recently. Okay, and, and that brings me to my next question. How loyal are his core fans? I mean, are they behind Tiger the golfer or Tiger the person? And can you even separate the two? Interesting. Tiger the golfer and Tiger the person may not be separated right now. He's one of the most prolific athletes in the history of the world. You understand that. But the bottom line is, an L.A. Times poll just recently said that uh, about 64% uh, of us don't feel Tiger is trustworthy anymore. Those are average fans as well. So the avid fan may be won over by winning another major if it's Tiger, but most of us are not that way. Mm, okay, Rick Haro. Boy, thank you so much for your insight. Uh, as everybody is speculating what's going to happen with Tiger and what he should do, uh, good to hear from uh, somebody in your profession who might be able to advise him or who would be able to if ever called upon. Thank you, Rick.